Hello everyone. A few weeks back I did a video about three cameras, I film cameras, that I think would be great for beginners that are wanting to learn to get into film photography. And the reason being is because of their price point, easy to get in, either they're cheaper cameras, uh, their ease of use, so their ability to do some auto functions to help someone learn how to use film and how to how to be um, you know, thinking about creative creativity and things like that, and your composition instead of worrying about, you know, uh, your how your shot's going to come out. Is it underexposed, overexposed, um, things like that. So making sure that you have the right settings on the camera, so that auto function can help with that. So and just till you get used to film, and then you can go out and get the, you know, shooting fully auto and, and do that kind of thing. But for for just getting started out, I think these were these were three cameras I think would be good for people to start with. And so I want to talk about more in depth. I said I would do videos about each one a little more in depth. Today is the Pentax MG. which is probably, I don't know, it's pretty close, but probably one of my favorite of the three. Uh, this is a really nice camera. It's really small. Um, I think it looks great. You can see there. And on this one, I have the uh, Pentax uh, 1 to 1 1.750 millimeter lens. And it's just, it is, it's just a great looking camera, easy to use. I've never had a problem with it. Functions flawlessly. And again, it has uh, the battery compartment where I'll show you in a minute. We can put those in and then you can have functionality uh, of having the, the camera will find your, based on your f-stop and the speed of the film that you put in, it will find the shutter speed for you to give you a good exposure. So, take a little look at it here. Okay, talk a little bit about here. We'll start with the front. Here's your lens. Here is your button to remove your lens. Push that in, turn counterclockwise to remove the lens. Mirror in there, dot right here, the dot on your, where's the dot? There's the dot on your lens. Match those up just like every other camera. Turn it clockwise, put it in there, and there you go. Your timer is here, so we crank it up. Push your timer. And there we go. So if you'd like to take a selfie, you set the timer, run out in front of it, you can do that. Or if you want to eliminate camera shake, if you have it on a tripod, you can do that all with the self timer. Okay. So let's go to the top of the camera here. Here we have our wind set. Okay. So we can take our picture. And then we have our counter here. Shutter button here, which I just shut off. And then we have our shutter speed dial here. Now this shutter speed dial only has three modes. You have bulb mode, which is B. You have 100X shutter speed, one one hundredth of a second. And you have auto, which has on there one, 
through 1,000. I'll explain a little bit more about that in a minute. We have our hot shoe at the top. We have our winder for our... See, that's a terrible angle. Pop this out. Oh, if I didn't do it again, pop that out. Wind your film back. Done. You can pop this up. Oh, wait. And I'm going to show you. So there's your sp uh, speed. Can't talk. There is the speed, film speed, ASA, which is same as ISO. And then we have a little, there's a little piece on here that you can, you can set, it has a plus minus on it. You can set the dot to where your speed speed is so let's say we have 400 film we can set this i'm trying to do this because it's very difficult my fingers i can't even get them in there i don't know it's kind of a terrible design you can see the little dots in there but anyway uh i'm not gonna spend much time on that it's pretty simple back of the camera have your viewfinder and that much that's about it um to open up the film this is basic like many other film cameras that you use Pull the top, opens, there it is. Film here, winds here. I mean, not winds, but as you shoot, this is where it comes to, and then you wind it back here. Spins around, there you go. Pretty basic, just about like every other film camera. So we won't spend too much time there. Bottom of the camera, have our tripod mount. This is just a connection for the winder. And then we have our battery compartment. So now this camera will fire. As you can see, no battery. I have it on auto, which you don't really want to do when you don't have a battery in there. Now I have it on 100X. My shutter speed, 100X. Now I know what it is. It's going to be 100. I can set my f-stop and I can set my, you know, I have my speed. And then I can take my picture and I can, now you're not going to get any of the highlight, you know, anything lit up in the camera. The light meter is not going to work, obviously. So you can set it to what you want. Use the Sunny 16 method, however you want. I snap your picture. But this is great if you forget batteries or you run out of battery, you can still use the camera. So that's good. So let's pop the batteries in real quick. So we put them in. Uh, positive side goes down. Positive side down. Into the camera like this. Top goes on like this. And then there is, now there is a special tool that you have to use to get the bottom on. Well, it's a quarter. Anyway, use any coin will work. Spin the bottom on. Okay, now, now if we set the camera to auto, Oh, I forgot one last thing on the top. Uh-oh, almost forgot. So see this little dot right here? It will turn, it's black. It will turn when I wind it and the camera's ready, it turns like an orange. So then you know you're ready to shoot. So you don't miss a shot. Turn it on auto, look in the viewfinder. As I half press the shutter, it's going to tell me right now that I have at 1 15th of a second with this with my speed set at the 400 which is my film speed and my aperture set at 5.6 now it has red yellow green you get red obviously means you're under or overexposed in which it has under and over in here in red also has flash at the top to tell you if you have flash if you're using flash so i'm at yellow so i can try to get that to green and do that by changing my f-stop. Now I'm at f 2.8, 1 60th of a second, and I am in the green. Then I can use this as a manual focus lens. It does have a focus assist. On this camera, I can focus in, a little too close, focus in, and I am at still 1 60th of a second. Oh, so inside here, as you're looking at the viewfinder, you have 1, 2, 4, 8, 15, 30, 60. You do not have 100, it just has an X, because your 100 X is here. Then you have 125, 250, 500, 1000, and then you do have a bulb mode for any long exposures. So anyway, that's about it on this camera. Like I said, it's very simple, easy to use. Uh, 
if you run out of battery, you can still use it. If you have the batteries, great. You can use it to get your exposure, to get your shutter speed you want. You can change your f-stop so you can try to get the shutter speed to where you want it for your picture. Uh, you pretty much have everything you need with this camera. Great little camera, easy to use because the best camera you have is the one that you take with you, something like that. That's what they say. And for me, this is the one I like to take with me. Thank you very much and have a great day.